What's up guys and welcome to Five Nights at Freddy's 1993. This is an old FNAF fan game that came out a little over a year ago and that's kind of weird coming from my mouth because as you guys know, usually at the start of every one of my videos, I'm like, this is a brand new FNAF fan game that we found over on Game Tool, but this is actually an older one. It's made by the same developer of Five Nights at Freddy's across the street that we played on the channel like a little over a year ago and this was actually made before that game and that game was a lot of fun. I remember you guys really enjoyed it. It got a ton of views, a ton of likes, a ton of comments, stuff like that. You guys really enjoyed that series. So whenever I was like looking for new FNAF fan games to play, I stumbled upon his account and I was like, wait, how did I not play this on the channel, but I played the game after it? So from what I've seen on the game tool page though, this actually looks really promising and he's actually remaking the game as we speak. Now, I don't know how far along that game's coming along, but it looked like he was still updating the page and stuff like that. So if you guys want to see me play the remade version of this game, and of course the full version of this one right here, smash like on the video down below. Let's set like goal of 5K likes, so relatively easy like goal. And as soon as you cross out, do another video on this game for sure, if you guys want to see it, that is. And in the comment section down below, let me know if you guys want to see me play the remastered version of the game too, because he's currently working on it and that looks pretty good too. Anyways, let's go ahead and start a new game and begin. All right, let's do this. Here we go. Local pizzeria reopens after new management takes over. Hiring for new positions. The local Freddy Fazbear's Pizza location is something in a week after new management took over. Management said that they are something Fazbear Entertainment. Okay. That one you can actually click to continue, so it doesn't just automatically skip it like usual. And I don't have to talk at like the speed of lightning to be able to get through the entire paragraph on the newspaper, so that's good. All right, here we go. So from what I've seen, though, this looks like the animatronics are going to be attacking from, like, doorways, like, on the left of us. And there's, like, a big window in front or something along those lines. I only saw, like, a few gameplay screenshots. So I really don't know exactly what's going to be happening. Oh, okay. Here we go. So there's a door. Oh, we're in, like, FNAF 1. Yeah, but there it's different. Oh, wow. It even looks different out there. Oh, what's that? Oh, those are boxes. I thought that was a door. Okay, so we have two door switches. Cam system. Uh, hello? Hello, hello? Uh, hi. Sweet, this thing is working. I um, I wanted to record a, a few messages for you to, to help you get through your first week here. Yeah, it's I know moving. it can be a little intense, but I figured that uh, I've more or less figured out this whole mess, and I'm going to give you everything I've learned to help you get through your first week. Um, I'm actually the previous night guard. I worked in that office before you, uh, and I've been working on this job for about a month or so, and I thought I would share everything I've learned just to make it easier for you. Uh, but before we get into that, I, uh, I have some legal stuff I have to get into. Management asked me to do it, so... <clears throat> Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. We are happy to have you on the team and hope that you continue to be part of the Fazbear family. Oh, Fazbear sneeze. Entertainment, formerly known as Week by Week Entertainment, is not responsible yeah. for damage to persons or property. In the unlikely event that damage to persons or property has occurred, Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible. In the even more unlikely situation of unfortunate death at the workplace, a missing persons report will be filed within 90 days or as soon as the walls and the floors have been thoroughly cleaned and bleached and the carpets have been replaced. We hope that you are excited as we are about your employment. Uh, I, I know that some of that might kind of sound bad, but I'm here to assure you that nothing, nothing, nothing's going to go wrong. There's nothing to worry about. Uh, so as I said, I'm actually finishing my last week now. Uh, with a change what? in management comes a change in staff, but hey, that's okay. what you're going to do. Okay, let's take a look here. I can't even close it. So your duties here are to uh, uh, oversee the location and to monitor our animatronic mascots that are beloved by the children of this town. Uh, now the animatronics, they're left in some sort of free roaming mode at night. I've talked to our engineers. Uh, and they say it's apparently to keep their servers from locking up because if they're turned off for too long, they stop working. Uh, and actually, they, they used to let them walk around during the day, but then there was the bite of 87, and uh, we, actually, we shouldn't talk about that. The bite of 87? Anyways, uh, the animatronics uh, walking around, they, they might try to get, get in your office. And if they see you, they might think that you're an animatronic endoskeleton without its costume on. Uh, their sensors are weak in the dark. Now, because of that, they might try to stuff you into one of the empty suits. And those are full of cross beams, wires, and other animatronic devices. And that could cause some <clears throat> uncomfort. Uh, but to avoid that, you have the, 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 uh, the two doors next to you. Uh, so if you see one outside your door, just, just, just close it. Boom, problem solved. Uh, don't th keep the doors closed for too long. The, uh, the, the location works on a backup power generator. You can actually see it in the, uh, the camera that's right in front of your office. Um, and those doors tend to take up a lot of power. They're really unnecessarily complicated. Just don't leave them closed for too long, all right? Only as long as you need to. Uh, 
I think that's about it. Um, here, let me... This is a really long phone call. Oh, yeah. Uh, so there's a vent in the, uh, the parts and service room. Uh, and sometimes someone might try to get into that vent. Uh, so if you hear someone crawling around at the vents, go to the parts and service room camera. It's the one with all the, the spare parts. And play the audio. And, uh, click the audio button. That'll draw them out, plays a special tone. Uh, and then you'll be good there, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, okay, I think, I think that's it for tonight. Um, I know that it's kind of a lot to take in, but trust me, you'll, you'll be just fine. Uh, all right, I'll talk to you tomorrow. That was more than a lot. <laughs> I don't know what, like, what is more than a lot, but that was a lot. All right, that was more than a lot. That, that was a super long phone call. But anyways, so it looks like, oh, look at him peeking through the little curtain right there, I think. I flashed that. Okay, he's not moving. I don't know. I think that's a face. That, yeah, that's Foxy, right? I can see him. Okay, well, that's kind of weird. So it looks like we have doors to the left and to the right of us. The power seems to drain a lot quicker than normal, I feel like. I don't know. Maybe it's just because the phone call was so long or what, but we're at like 59% power already. But it is 3 a.m., so that's not too bad. So it looks like we have doors on the left and right, and we've got a vent above us. Now, we have to listen for any sort of like banging, and if we hear that, we play audio in the parts and service room, and that seems to be it. But does this drawing in front of us, does that not say I am Fox or I am <laughs> I am Foxy or something? Is that a did the kid draw that so a kid thought he was Foxy, I guess? I don't know, dude. All right, if you're Foxy, comment down below. I am Fox if you are, all right? But only if you're Foxy in the comment section now. If you're not Foxy, don't comment that, all right? It's only for the Foxy lovers, all right? All right, let's see here. Is there... Someone moved. I think it was... Who was that? Was that Bonnie? Oh, Bonnie and Chica moved. Both of them. And this camera is... Oh, there's one of them. Wait, we're missing another one. We're missing one of them. Hold on. I was going to say, this has new cameras, though, too. So it looks like... Oh, my God. Oh, okay, yeah. That, that kitchen camera does that. But it... Ooh. Someone's in the kitchen. Someone's in the kitchen. It's Chica, dude. She's in the kitchen. But it, 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 this is FNAF 1, but, like, a, a different version of it. Like, it's been, like, remade or something. Like, I don't know. It's, like, his own version of FNAF 1. Because, look, it's got literally the main diner right there. Parts and service. Wait. Chica might... Okay, Chica might be close by. Maybe a little careful. Let me check the hallways. Yeah. Okay, so, look. It's got, like, the vent... Or it's got uh, an actual camera for the uh, generator, which is new. And it's got, like, other, like, a few other rooms that look a little bit different than the original FNAF 1. So it seems like, yeah, it's, like, their version of it, which is weird. All right. Well, I guess not weird, but it's cool. Okay. That is kitchen again. Has Bonnie moved? No, Bonnie's still sitting there. Is it just me, or does this night feel like it's way slower all of a sudden? Like, the phone call, it felt like the night was speeding by, but, like, we were losing so much power quickly. Now it's, like, the night is, like, going at the speed of molasses or something. But I'm assuming with the remastered version, it's just going to be FNAF 1 then. Just, you know, like I said, just like this. Like, same mechanics, just like new graphics, I guess. Maybe new things that happen at night or something. I don't know. Oh, no, dude, I feel another sneeze coming. You know how you can just, like, tell? Even though it's, like, like minutes away, you can just, like, feel it deep inside of you. And you're like, oh, no, dude. That's a sneeze, and it's on its way right towards me. Okay, wait, 37% power? And it's 5 a.m.? We're going to win. I, I, I could close... No, I don't know. I, I feel like the power in this game, is it, it drains very quickly. So I don't know about closing the door. If anyone was going to attack, though, it's going to be Chica or maybe Foxy? No, it's going to be Chica, if anyone. She's the only one that's been in that kitchen, like, throwing pots and pans. Or I want to see what she's doing in that kitchen. <laughs> I think I've said this before, but I'm really surprised, if, if it's not already a thing, that no one's made, like, an animation of, like, what Chica is doing in the kitchen, like, with the camera off. I feel like that is like, wait, did it just turn on? I just saw her somewhere. I feel like that is like the perfect thing to make an SFM of, like what Chica does in the kitchen when, when the when you can't see her on the camera. I want to know what she's doing because she's got to just be throwing around pots and pans like a maniac, like, because like how would you make that much noise in the kitchen? You don't just walk in the kitchen and just start like stepping on pots and pans. Like she has to be in there just throwing her hands around at top speed, just like making a ton of noise for some reason. Okay, wait, it's about to be 6 a.m. It's about to be 6 a.m. We're gonna win. Oh, what? The, oh, my goodness! I thought the game crashed. <laughs> I thought the game crashed because it did that when we started the night. It like crashed for a second, then it came back. So I thought it was like, oh well, there it goes. I gotta play through that all over again. <sighs> all right, good. Here we go. Night two. Is it gonna have cutscenes though, or is it just gonna put us right back in? If I had to take a guess, I'd say, look, see, it's crashing again. Oh, it's back. Okay, I don't know why it does that. If I had to take a guess, so I'd say this is just gonna be a very bare bones game. Like it's just gonna be nights and phone calls, and that's it. But maybe in the remastered version, it's gonna have like cutscenes and stuff like that, which I would hope. But let's see. Maybe I maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we're gonna get a cutscene here or something. Maybe something crazy. It is kind of weird though. For night one, not a single animatronic attacked. 
Like, I'm used to, like, there's one animatronic at the very end. Or, like, he shows up at the doorway, and then it ends, like, something. But in this one, it was like, nah, you know, just Chica throwing around pots and pans. That's it for the night. I mean, that is pretty scary if you think about it. All right, phone call again, though. Here we go. I'm guessing it's going to be doors this night, and then third night's going to be, like, audio with the vent and stuff. But I guess we're going to find out. Oh, yeah, by the way, look, isn't that from uh, One Night at Flumpty's, uh, that picture? Hey, if you're hearing this, uh, you made it to day two. Uh, con congrats. Uh, now, I don't want to take up too much of your time. I would actually uh, recommend taking a look at your cameras as they speak. Um, you may have noticed the flash button in the cameras. Uh, you see, since the animatronic scanning systems are kind of faulty, they, they, they tend to be sensitive to, uh, to sudden changes of light. Uh, it doesn't seem to really affect all of them, but it's very effective against the, uh, the chicken and the bear, Jiga and Freddy. Uh, so, it does take some time to charge up. You can only use it, you know, every once in a while. Make the generator get them out of there. They, I don't know why, they like to mess with that thing and it tends to limit some of your power, so oh, no. keep them out. And, uh, okay, well, uh, you may have noticed the curtains. Uh, there's a character in there, uh, Foxy. He, he tends to act weird in that, uh, he gets more active if the, 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 the cameras are made off for, uh, a while. Uh, I guess he doesn't like being watched. <coughs> so, Make sure you keep an eye on him, uh, just so that you know where he is, and if he starts to leave the cove. Uh, from all of my experience, he likes to charge down the hallway right to your office for whatever reason. Uh, so make, yeah, make sure your reflexes are fast with him. Uh, Alright, I think that's it. Um, remember to conserve oh, no. power, uh, use the flash button, check Pirates Cove, and listen for anyone out in the vents. Uh, with all that, you'll be just fine. Good night. Wait, but did he say that? I thought he said that Foxy doesn't like to be looked at, but then he said to keep an eye on Pirate Cove and to watch Foxy. So I, I, I guess I am watching Foxy, or am I not watching? I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I think we have to watch Foxy, but I, I, I don't know for sure. It might get me killed. But then again, if Foxy does attack, I just have to dodge the run. Well, not dodge it. I'm mean, just dodge the run. But you know what I mean. I have to close the door on it whenever it shows up. Wow, that's a, it's a pretty big step up, though. From night one to this, I mean, night one, nothing happened. Now, on this one, you got Foxy, you got flashing animatronics, you got everything going on on this one. They were saving it for the night two. Oh, crap. Okay, wait, we're at 70% power, dude. Why Why does this game, like, destroy? It sucks up all your power for some reason, and I don't know why. Okay, keep an eye on Foxy. So, I think the goal here would be to watch Foxy, then watch Generator, then go back to Foxy, then leave, and then watch Doors, right? That, that seems to be the go-to strat. If you hear anything in the... Oh! He's... I think he's running? I don't know if he's running yet, or if he's... Wait, is that a vent noise? I'm gonna play the audio just in case. Okay, so Foxy hasn't left Pirate Cove, so right now... I should leave this open, but I don't want to, because I'm a little scared, and I just... I'd rather keep it closed. I don't know. Should I open it? I, I feel like I should open it. Oh, uh oh, no, he's still there. I'm gonna open it. That could be a bad idea. I'm gonna open it. Come on. What is that noise? Is that a vent noise? Oh, that's like the door noise. I think. Why does it make that noise? Oh my god. Close it. Pull. Oh. Okay, you can hear Foxy. Wait, he's he's outside. Why is he not? Okay, he's, he's banging on it right now. Oh my goodness. Hello, Chica. Okay. Open that. All right, things are going down now. Things are going... Oh, Bonnie's there too, dude. Are you kidding me? Whole crew is here. The whole crew. All right, is Chica still out there? How do I... How do I know if she left? Oh, my God. <laughs> she didn't leave. How do I know if she left? I have no idea, dude. Okay, well, Bonnie is... I don't... Bonnie was just on this camera. Now he's gone. Oh, no. Where did... Oh, okay. He's in the closet. Thank goodness, dude. I've never been to see Bonnie in the closet before. He's just hanging out in there, probably cleaning or something. All right, is Chica going to leave? How, how do you, how do you know when she left? She's just sitting out there. Did I do something wrong? I don't know. She's not leaving. Oh, let me, okay, is that her leaving? Oh my god, no, that's Bonnie. Okay, there's no way she's. Oh, she's gone. I don't. How do you? Okay, I don't know how to tell when. I don't know, dude. Whatever. Whatever. Let's just try to beat this. All right, Foxy's not moving. Make sure she doesn't come back. Did they make a noise or something? I'm gonna listen. No. Oh wait. What? He's he, he's gone. What? All right. There has to be some way of telling. Like maybe they 
they just like immediately leave or something. I don't know. But no, remember we, we closed on her and then we opened it like a minute later and she was still there. Oh no. Oh no. Play the audio. Play the audio. I played it. Playing it again just to be on the safe side. What was that alien noise? I think that's from the audio. It should be okay. I, I definitely played the audio. What is that noise? What the heck, dude? There's some like weird alien noises. Is that the... No. I don't know what that noise is, dude. I don't know. It's creeping me out. That's all I know. It's just creeping me out. I don't like it. But I'm just gonna, you know, hope that nothing bad happens. It's 4 a.m. I gotta be a little bit... Dude, there's just like constant noise. I don't know. I'm just gonna remain calm. Check the, the... I was gonna say the AC unit. The generator and Foxy. Okay, 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 okay. Audio. Audio again. Audio one more time for good luck. I can just press as many times as I want, I think. I'm just gonna keep pressing it. Because it makes me feel happy and comfortable, so I'm gonna press it again. Actually, one more time for good luck. One more time for good luck. Okay. Alright, that's an... Oh, Chica, get out of it! Dude, you're gonna make me lose all my power, Chica. Get out. Leave. Oh, don't leave over here. I didn't, I didn't mean it that way. I meant leave like... Don't come back. Oh, who? Oh, oh, oh. You could have just stayed in there if you were gonna come over here. You, you could have just stayed in the generator room. I'm going to lose. I am going to lose. Is she still out? Dude, she's still out there. I'm pretty sure. Oh my... No, wait. I saw her. I, wait, what? How come she left so quick that time? Oh no, dude. Oh no. This is bad. This is bad. Wait, okay. All right. New new plan. New plan. New plan. Stare at the door and listen for Foxy, I guess. Because uh, I don't have enough power to really do much of anything else right now. That's not Foxy's run. Come on. No, no, no. We're so close. Come on. Please have like the super long FNAF 1 ending. You got to. You, you have to have the super long FNAF 1 ending that takes 10 years. So I have enough time to hit 6 a.m. It's a classic. It, it needs to be in this game. It has to be. Okay. And if it's not in this game, I'm going to cry. Oh, no. Come on. Come on, FNAF ending. Come on. You've done it before. I know you want to hit 6 a.m. game. I know you do. I, I can feel it. You're going to hit 6 a.m. You are. Just hit 6 a.m. Oh no, it's not hitting it. Dang it, it's not, I don't think, I think it, it's probably, it might not have the same features like FNAF 1 where you can still win. Wow, this is a really long ending. Hello? Did it, did it freeze? Hello? Oh, no. What? Okay, all right. The, 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 does the developer know I'm playing this? Did he rig this game for me or something? That, what was that? Why? That's like the FNAF 1 ending chime, but even longer, I think. That took forever for me to lose. I thought the game froze. I was like, wait, what's happening? Why am I just like still in the darkness? All right. Well, guys, that was Five Nights at Freddy's 1993. I do want to get a jump scare before we end this video, though. So let's go ahead and start up another night. Let's listen to the phone call and then let's just get jump scared and then we'll end the video there. Because I mean, we beat both those nights. And now that, that was night two, by the way. That was a stressful night. I literally ran out of power. Like I won by like last second luck. So like I, I can't imagine what night three, night four. I, this might be one of those games that's just like really hard, and I, I guess we're gonna find out pretty soon here. But let's go ahead and listen to the phone call. Let's see who's gonna be attacking us on this night. Let's get a jump scare by. I'd like to be jump scared by who's in the vent. Or maybe by like a door and I'm trying. I don't know. I want to get a Freddy Fazbear jump scare. I feel like it's only fitting because we're in FNAF one. But I, I feel like he's gonna be the hardest one to get jump scared by. Uh, hey, uh, buddy, step away from the mic. Day three. Um, good job. Uh, most people actually don't last this long, from what I've heard. Uh, you know, they just they, they leave the job oh, or they Freddy. demand to work the day shift. You know. Um, Freddy. Now I'm gonna be completely honest. Uh, things kind of start getting real uh -oh. tonight. Uh, Freddy, he Ooh. likes to start okay, that's easy enough. on Wednesdays and you just from flash on forward. Uh, he he's very aggressive in that he doesn't like to go backwards. He doesn't do oh, it on I his own. I just sent him backwards. Um, and actually, I've had one experience where he got to my door, he just blocked it, and I had to keep the door closed on him. He would not walk away. Uh, so from what I've experienced, when you see Freddy start to move, mm -hmm. use the flash button on him as much as you possibly can. Mm -hmm. It will, it makes him go back oh, to hello, the light change and everything like that. Um, but if you see him out your door, then he's stuck, and you just have to keep the door closed on him. Um, he, yeah, so I'm going to be completely honest. Things have been tough tonight for me. 
Um, but I'm confident you can do it. I mean, I've done it in the past. I'm, I'm going to. It's 5 right now. Actually, oh my! It's only a few minutes until my shift is over. But it's, it was a rough night. But you'll be fine. You know, if I can do it, you can. And uh, I think that's about it. So, yeah. Good night, man. Good luck. Okay, yeah, this this game is tough, dude. I mean, I I think we can keep track. Oh, hello. I think we can keep track of Freddy somewhat. Obviously, we're going to let him come up to us on this night. I just want to get jump scared here, but I think power-wise, this game is going to be difficult. And also, finding the... Like, I wish there was some kind of noise when they left. Like, you've got to just, like, find them, which is weird. Yeah, look, he's... Wait, is that the... Is that the secret Bonnie, or is he... No, what? That's Bonnie. Is that, the, is that supposed to be, like, the recreation of that one uh, cam or whatever? That one Easter egg, you guys remember that? I think it was with Bonnie. I don't remember for sure. That's been so long. But yeah, I think it was with Bonnie. I don't, oh, no, I'm thinking of uh, when he... Oh, hello, there's someone in the vent. I'm thinking of when he takes off his mask, I think. Okay, play the audio. Play the audio again. Wait, who's in the vent? Actually, now that I think about it. Because... Wait, yeah, who's in the vent? Because Freddy shows up at the doorway. Foxy's doorway. Bonnie's doorway. Chica's doorway. Who... Wait, is it the endo, maybe? I never, that's kind of weird. Who's in there? <laughs> now I kind of want to know. Oh, Chica's coming out of the boys' bathroom. What the... What are you doing in there, Chica? Hi, taking a poop? Or is that Bonnie? Uh, that could be Freddy, actually. I could just be completely blind. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Someone was using the boys' bathroom, right? And they probably stunk it up, too. Knowing these animatronics, even though I don't think they have stomachs, but you know what I mean. Oh, hello. Close that. Okay. What, what if we beat this by, like, not even trying to beat it? Like, I just want to get a Freddy jump scare, but, like, if we somehow beat this, there's no way. Like, just imagine, like, Freddy shows up at, like, 5 a.m. At that point, I'm just going to try to beat it. I mean, I might as well. Oh, no, wait. Bonnie? Okay, there's Bonnie left. Wait, how much power? Did I say I have 35? Oh, no, 53%. Oh, that's, that's definitely not enough to win. That is definitely not enough to win. I know that for sure as a fact. But, you know what? Where's Freddy at? That's all I care about right now. Where's he at? Is that hit? Oh, no, he's not there. He's got to be somewhat... Oh, my goodness. Hello, Chica. He, he's got to be somewhat close, right? Was he in the bathroom? Oh, that is him in the bathroom then. Because Chica... Oh, wow. They're on both sides. Yeah, because Chica's right there. So he's just hanging out in the boys' bathroom for whatever reason. <laughs> he's just sitting in there, you know? He's just having a good old time. Talking to himself. Doing his own thing. All right, hold on. Let's check Foxy. Okay. Chica. Chica. Chica, where are you? She is sitting at the door. I guarantee it. She is just standing at the door. I don't know what her problem is with this door. But she is not a fan of it. Maybe she sees her, like, reflection on there or something. But when she sees herself on the door, she is not leaving that door no matter what. Okay, wait. Was that a vent? Play audio. I don't... I don't know if that was a vent or not, dude. Oh, I saw Chica, I think. Yeah, there's Chica. Okay, open that. All right, what about Foxy? What? Oh, wow, we have 30% power. Literally still three hours left. There's no way. Unless we somehow use 10% on each... <laughs> on each hour. But, uh, I just... Don't see that happening. Okay, go back. Check. Check cameras. Hello? Oh, my God. Okay, there's Foxy. Wait, is she in the power room? Oh, no. Hold on. Play audio. Hold on. Foxy's about to attack. I think she's in the power room. No, she's not. Okay, so. Plan here. Try to beat it with... Oh, what? Okay, well. I, uh... The plan went out the window, all right? The plan just completely went out the window. It's been thrown away. I don't know how she got there so quickly. Oh, that's cool. That's cool that you like, can see her through the mask of the, the Chica or whatever. That's pretty awesome. All right, well, guys, I'm going to end this video here. That was FNAF 1993. Overall, it's a pretty fun game. I like how the animatronics look whenever they're outside the door and stuff like that. And uh, the jump scare was pretty good, too. And then the game just crashed. Okay, well... <laughs> Did I press quit or something? I thought I pressed just back to the menu. I, I don't know. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, get subscribed if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.